Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, we are going to be talking about 35. Just a second. I didn't have my screen share up. 35 bread and butter Bolo items. So a Bolo is an item to be on the lookout for. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. So we are going to get started. And my computer has been having delays today. So I'm hoping, um, I'm hoping it's going to be better. So here we go. All right. The first item I sold is, and it came out of a mystery box. This real toy frontier airport playset. And I had no idea when I saw this that it was a Bolo item, but it sold fairly quickly. Um, I was pretty impressed with how quick it sold. And it was not super lightweight. So I kind of had a feeling that it was going to be pretty good. But here's what it looks like on the bottom. And it sold for $30 plus shipping. And again, it sold pretty quickly. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And I think it helped that I had a lot of the accessories and items that went with it. The next item is this vintage asparagus. It's only about six inches tall. It's from Veggie Tales. Um, anytime I see Veggie Tales, I pick it up. Uh, people like it. It's harder to find. Um, as far as the movies go, I typically pick them up if they are sealed, um, but definitely a good seller. This sold for $18.75, and the buyer was all in for $26.15. Garage sale with uh, in a bag of items, of other VeggieTale items. So I probably have around a dollar in this. The next item I sold is this beaded statement collar choker necklace. And I ended up taking a best offer on this of $30. The buyer was all in for $38.65. And this came from my bulk uh, jewelry buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. I have a whole series about this, but this is one of the items that came in that. It's super, super cute. Um, I guess it's kind of looks like a collar when you put it on, but uh, really, really neat seed bead. Um, those are called seed beads. If you didn't know, that's something I did not know um, until I bought a bunch of jewelry and I learned um, that those little tiny beads are called seed beads. The next item that sold is this Lucian Picard. Um, it's a movement. So it goes, it's the part that goes inside the watch uh, that makes it tick. And this one has the face on it. And my husband gave me this. Um, he didn't want to list it, so I went ahead and listed it, and he gave me like three of them, and this is the last one to sell. Uh, I took a best offer of $32 on this, and the buyer was all in for $37.20, and that is that includes the tax and the shipping. The next item I sold is this Lennox Autumn is like the pattern, and it's a little vase and a small tray that match. And you guys, I'm not big into breakables, but um, I was feeling, I was at the thrift store and I'm like, I'm just selling so many toys. I need to pick up something different. And I saw this sitting there. So I went ahead and picked it up and it was actually a good buy. It sold really quick for $35. The buyer was all in for $48.71 and my cost of goods was $5. The next item I sold are these earrings. They also came from my bulk buy. Uh, these are feather earrings and they are super, super long. They measure what, almost 14 inches. So um, they probably look really cute hanging from the ear and then go down onto the shirt. But um, these sold for um, a best offer of $25 and the buyer paid shipping. So they were all in for $33.05. And again, that came from that same jewelry bulk by the 300 and almost 50 pounds of jewelry that I got. I think it came to like 344 if we're being exact numbers. I have a video where I actually weigh it. All right. So this guy is the Iron Man Hulk Buster Disney Infinity Marvel figure. So these go with that uh, game. And I think they hook up like to a Nintendo or a PS2. I'm really bad with my game systems. But they go with something. Uh, one of those games. 
And this is just one of the figures. And I sold him for $13.50 plus tax and shipping all in $21.08. And my cost of goods was around 50 cents for him. The next item I sold is this artist brush. Um, it's, I, I don't know exactly what it's for. It's like an airbrush. I don't know if it was complete. So what I did is I just sat everything out as you can see here. And I am going to let the buyer determine what all is there because this is very, uh, I, I just don't know anything about it. And that is one thing that I say about uh, when I purchase the Dibble boxes from Donatella Bottolino is she always puts things in there that I have no clue what they are, no clue what they do. And then I research them and I list them. So um, I do enjoy that about the Dibble boxes or a Dibble box is a Dibble bit of this and a Dibble bit of that. It's basically a reseller box. And if you're interested in something like that, you can check out Donatella Bottolino's channel and auctions for you. The links are down in the description below. But I ended up selling this artist brush for a best offer of $35 and the buyer was all in for $48.49. And I can't remember which Dibble box this came in. Um, I believe it was the one I paid $110 for. So I'm guessing I had maybe two or $3 in this. The next item I sold is, are these Smurfs. So is his name Gargamel? I think that's his name. And then you got all the little Smurfs. And these are the old guys. Um, I believe these came from a garage sale. And I think I bought like a bunch of stuff from that garage sale. And I got a, I did a bulk buy. But you guys, I've picked up Smurfs before. So I may be mixing it up. But I'm guessing I have about a dollar in these. Uh, they sold for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this turtle and this is a major bread and butter, but I just think it's awesome that this sold for $10 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for this turtle for $15 and 60 cents. So this is one of those Fisher price, um, zoo talkers, sea turtles. So I think you put it onto the playset, and it makes the playset talk and however it sits on it it knows it's a turtle maybe i'm not real sure i'm not familiar with the toy i just saw that it said zoo talkers so um yeah nice little bread and butter bolo there so if you see any that say zoo talkers definitely look them up and it sold pretty quick the next item i sold is this turkey creek um robin kelso pumpkin princess now this is Demodico, I think is how you say it. Dim, yeah, Demdotic. I don't know. But anyway, it looks familiar probably to you guys because it's also on the Willow Tree figures. And I started the auction low on this because do you see the chip right there on the headband? But I think I probably should have started the auction higher. Uh, somebody could probably just color that in. And from what I understand, this is a harder to find item and I probably could have done a little better. So in the future, if you guys happen to find one of these, definitely um, price it a little high because I think they are rare and hard to find. So I got $17.49 for it on auction and the buyer paid the shipping and I got that at a garage sale and I believe it was a dollar. So um, I did learn that on this. Um, I did not have worth point at the time where I probably could have looked it up there, but um, I did go ahead and decide, my husband and I talked about it and I'm like, I really think I need to get worth point. I'm like, I'm finding more and more things where I just really want to search comps and be knowledgeable about what I'm listing things for. So especially now that I'm in hard goods and stuff. So um, yeah. So we decided to get worth points. So we now have that. And I do have a link down in the description. If you guys want to check it out, you can use that. Um, it is a referral link. So if you click on it um, and join, that's awesome. That helps me. Um, and if not, no worries. It is, it is pricey. Um, that's why I have held off so long. But uh, I do have a story I'm going to tell you guys. And I'm going to do a video on it because it's just, it's pretty amazing. But um, it, it's already paid for itself. Let's put it that way. 
All right. The next item I sold is this Barbie dollhouse refrigerator. This also came out of a mystery box and I sold it for $33.74. The buyer was all in for $42.40. So um, all of these little um, household uh, soda and cleaning supplies came with this. So just a cute little set. All right, you guys, the next item I sold is this McDonald's McWrist wallet. It's like a little watch. So it's like a trinket container. So it holds stuff. But I looked this up and I was like, are you kidding me? Um, I got $14.99 for this, you guys. And the buyer paid the shipping. So the buyer was all in for $21.61. And I'm wondering if I did a buy it now with best offer and priced it higher. I'm guessing I may have gotten it. Um, but yeah, so I didn't get a bidding war like I was hoping. But $14.99, pretty happy with that. The next item I sold is this McDonald's tea. And these came from that estate sale that had all of the McDonald's items. And this sold really quickly, you guys. Um, and in fact, I went back and I think think there was another one and I didn't get it. And now I'm like, oh, I should have got it. Um, but I took a best offer of $30 on this and the buyer was all in for $36 and 50 cents. And you guys, it's a teeny beanie babies t-shirt. So it's the beanie babies. And it says, I survived teeny beanie babies 97. It is vintage, but just a fun little shirt and it sold quick. So I like it when they sell quick. The next item I sold is this Hutton Toys Disappearing Milk. So there's milk. And then when you turn it upside down, the milk disappears into the top of the bottle. And then the bottle looks like the baby doll drank it. So pretty cool little vintage item. And this sold for $11.25 plus shipping. Um, so the buyer was all in for $17.58 on that. That came from a Facebook haul. So I had about 50 cents in it. The next item is this vintage 1991 Kleiben cat rubber stampede. So it is a stamp, you guys. If you see this cat on a stamp, buy it. Um, they are a bolo item. They sell quick. People collect them and they bring good money. So um, they range from bread and butter to big money. So definitely look them up. But if you can get them cheap, buy, buy, buy. Um, this one I paid about 25 cents for. I bought it in a bunch of stamps. and. 2426 is what it sold for. The buyer was all in for $29.26. And if you guys have not seen the video I did on stamps, definitely go check that out. I think it I did the top three selling stamps, and it's really, really fantastic. Um, what some stamps go for. All right, so this hymns book came from um a subscriber. And she sent me a box of goodies to resell. And this was one of the items in it. So I sold this for $11.25 and the buyer was all in for $14.99. And again, this sold super, super fast. Um, I don't know if I underpriced it. It was a hard one to comp out, but um, it was a fast sale and I love a fast sale. So very, very cool. The next item I sold are these vintage Clifford the Big Red Dog High Bounce Balls. And these sold for $24.99. The buyer was all in for $33.28. This came from a thrift store and I paid a dollar. So um, super, super cool bolo. I saw it and I was like, somebody is going to want those. I just knew it. And they were definitely a bolo item. That's pretty great margins for uh, some bouncy balls. The next item I sold is this mug, and this came from a thrift store also. I paid a dollar for it. It's a coffee mug, studio art pottery, and it's got like a wolf or a coyote on the front, and it is signed on the bottom. Let me show you that right there. And this sold for $25. The buyer was all in for $36.22. The next item I sold are these Disney princess, fig oh my goodness, I'm sorry, Disney princess figures. And it's just a lot of different Disney princesses. And this sold for a best offer of $37.13. The buyer was all in for $48.74. So these come from different places, typically garage sales. And then from time to time, 
I will just put them in a lot, um, a bigger lot instead of selling them individually. The next item I sold is this Three Stooges figure. I picked him up at a garage sale for $3. Anytime I can get my hands on toys that are new, old stock, vintage, in the box, original box, never removed from the box, I definitely pick those up. Um, I still try to keep my cost of goods down. Uh, so $3 for this was excellent and it sold for $33.74 plus shipping. The next item I sold are these vintage uh, Wilton clowns and candle holders. So they basically they go on top of a birthday cake. They're cake toppers. And these came from a garage sale. I'm guessing I had a buck or less in them. I sold them for $10. The buyer was all in for $17.12. The next item that I sold is this dried flower necklace pendant. This was a very long tail item. It took a long time to sell. Um, and actually when it sold, I was like, oh, wow, that sold. Um, it just seemed like it was never going to sell. But it sold and it sold for a great profit. It sold for $20. The buyer was all in for $24.95. And this came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. The next item is this Jimmy Animated Valentine Viking. Um, I do have a video over on my reseller testing product that shows you how this guy wiggles, dances, and sings. He's pretty funny. But I did notice when I was searching comps, that he is missing um, the plush heart that it holds and he also needed spot cleaned in areas. So I picked this guy up at the bins. He was a part of one of my bins challenges and I thought about just doing the video on reseller testing products and just calling it a day and donating him and then I was like nope I'm gonna list it and I'm just gonna disclose that it's missing the heart that it's supposed to hold and that it needs spot cleaned. And you guys, I will tell you, he sold super fast. If I remember correctly, it was an international sale. It sold for $10 and 13 cents and the buyer was all in for 18.68. The next item that sold is this Sherlock Holmes cassette sealed tape. This also came out of a dibble box. This is probably not something that I would have picked up. So again, um, the dibbles really make me expand my knowledge and try, try listing new things. And I really like that. Um, it actually sold quicker than I expected and it sold for $12 and the buyer was all in for $16.03. The next item I sold are these shoe clips. They are vintage shoe clips. They're, um, embellished with rhinestones and they sold for a best offer of $12. The buyer was all in for $19.13. And these came with the jewelry, actually. So they were in with my bulk buy jewelry. And this is what they look like on the other side. So apparently those just clip onto your shoes and they're like a little decoration. The next item I sold is this Ferris wheel, which also came from the bins. Uh, the bins is where you buy by weight. I believe I got it the same day as the other item I just showed you, um, the wiggly guy. Uh, but this sold super, super fast for $10. The buyer was all in for $23.07. All right. This also came from the bins and it's a Jordan hat and it was a little bit dirty and I didn't clean it or anything. Um, I just listed it as is. Let's see. Oh, and I think it was stretched out. Let me know what you guys think. Let me show you. I'm not, yeah, I'm not really into the whole fitted hat hats thing, but you see this? I don't think it's supposed to look like that, right? That's like stretched out. So I just disclosed that I thought that it was stretched out and it still sold for $14.99. I went ahead and auctioned it, $14.99 plus shipping. So I was pretty happy with that because I got it at the bend. So it was probably like a buck, maybe less. The next item is this Brio School Bus Wood Set. These are rare and harder to find. Um, I picked these up in a mystery box, a mystery vintage toy box from T at Auctions for You. 
So she does auctions on her YouTube channel, but um, this was just a uh, mystery toy box that I ordered from her for $100. And I sold these two little buses for $22.50 and the buyer was all in for $29.74. So if you wanna see everything that came in that $100 box, which there was a ton of stuff, you can uh, go to my YouTube channel, my main Bola Buddies channel, and you can uh, look for that video. Just put in uh, auctions for you or actually put in vintage toy box. I'm not sure if I put auctions for you in the title or not. Um, so vintage toy box. The next item I sold is this unicorn chalkware plaque hangings. And these actually took longer than I expected to sell but they did okay. Um, I picked them up for a couple bucks at a garage sale and they sold for $28 best offer all in for $36.50. The next item is this Dungeons and Dragons handbook. I picked this up at a garage sale. It was stuffed inside of a Dungeons and Dragons game. I have a video on that over on my reseller testing products. If you guys want to check out what else came in that game, it was definitely not the items that went with the game, but everything was Dungeons and Dragons, which is pretty cool. I ended up selling this for auction, $26.98, and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is this Bionicle. I picked up a bunch of Lego Bionicles and Transformers, and I probably have a couple bucks in this, and I sold it for $27.74, and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, so here is one that came out of a mystery box and I don't know why I ended up listing it because I this is typically something that I would just donate back, but I went ahead and was curious about them because I had never seen anything like it. I looked them up, they're called Bright Beats, Build a Beat Stack Characters. So I listed them and they actually sold pretty quickly for $14.80. The buyer was all in for $22.70. So sometimes when I do a mystery box, if there's not a whole lot in it that's good, I will try to list a couple things to at least pay for the box. So maybe that was the situation here, but I'm glad I listed them because again, they sold fast and with a decent profit. The next item are these little Thomas the Train people. Um, they're from the Sodor set and they sold for $18 oh, I'm sorry. I took a best offer of 15 on those and I got them at a garage sale and I had about a quarter in them and the buyer was all in for 2102 with shipping and tax. And the last item we have here is this vintage 1999 Hallmark keepsake ornament. And it is the lunar rover vehicle journey into space. So I don't know if is that like Star Wars or Star Trek or maybe neither? No, I don't think it's either. I think it's just a space vehicle. So um, that one sold for $19. It came in a mystery box. The buyer was all in for $27.01. All right, you guys, that is 35 bread and butter bolos. Um, I hope some of those were new to you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.